Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and look what I have in front of me. I have a box of 2010-11 Heroes and Prospects hobby version from In The Game. I'm a massive proponent of In The Game at a price point below 30 bucks. 18 packs per box, 9 cards per pack, 162 cards total. A uh, base set runs about 150 cards. Uh, there are non-memorabilia inserts inserted of one of six packs. There are authentic autos, uh, one of eight packs. There are game used memorabilia cards, one of eight packs. Uh, and it would be, of course, the rookie year of P.K. Subban, Nazem Kadri, etc. Uh, it also would be the 75th anniversary, 2010-11 would be, of the AHL, which was founded in 1936, I believe. So let me sort of slice and dice uh, this plastic uh, open and off and pull that out and etc. Is there no seal? Uh, but this is a hobby box, uh, seal or no seal. And let's seal the deal here. So this is what the box looks like. Uh, always busy with heroes and prospect in the game. Always a bit gaudy, always a bit campy. Uh, kind of cool though, look at that uh, mask, that's a Bernie Perron or Pelly Lindbergh looking uh, scenario with the mask there. And let's see what we get with regard to these cards. So we have this Max Iafredi, uh, first and foremost, uh, early in our break. Uh, and so the cards, very, very, you, you know, typical in the game, um, sort of a little bit glossy, uh, super, super busy, all kinds of colors, very pastel. Uh, but that's the name of the game. That's what we would expect from these guys. Ryan Murphy, who was on Team Canada. Marco Brie. There's Gabe Landeskog. Uh, and these, a lot of people collect these, believe it or not. The uh, Heroes and Prospect, he shoots, he scores, which is blanks, but nonetheless. And there is Dustin Tokarski, who went on a pretty decent playoff run with the Habs uh, when Price was injured by uh, Chris Kreider back in the day. He also played with Tampa. And there's Alex Daylock, a able and capable uh, backup goaltender within the NHL. So let's continue on. There should be some anniversary inserts, the 75th anniversary insert. So we should look. There's Jared Tenorti, who was uh, with the Habs for a hot second. R Brandon Ranford. There's Brandon Sad, uh, who, of course, you would probably know from primarily from Chicago, maybe Columbus. There's Tyler Sagan. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I believe it was his rookie year. Was it not Tyler Sagan's rookie year? Was either this one or the one after? And Tyler Toffoli. So all very well-known people. There's Kyle Torres, uh, who, of course, you probably recall from a couple of teams. Now he's present. And there's Dandenoff, who, uh, of course, is on Florida. Torres, I believe, is on the Preds now. Uh, and there's Nate Bolio. His, his rookie year was 2013, I believe. And he, of course, was with the Habs and then moved on to Buffalo. Victor Rask. There's Sean Couturier. So these are all base for a face. We should get some autos, though. So that's what we would expect and look for and hope for. And hopefully a couple of jerseys as well. There are all kinds of insert jerseys that we can... Uh, there's Thomas Tatar, uh, who uh, you would know of the Red Wings and, of course, of the Montreal Canadiens as well as the Las Vegas... Golden Knights. Thomas Tatar has a pretty good. He's had a pretty good season here in 2018-19. There's Stevie Eiserman. So this card here uh, would be right at the uh, top of the checklist, uh, number three. Uh, sometimes they do that. They have right at the top of the checklist, they have these old school players as non-inserts. Base set runs 150 cards. There is an update package above and beyond the 150. There are other cards that they added to the set as an update. Uh, there's Jack Campbell, I believe, is on LA now. And Jared Stahl. So all of these appear to be base cards. Uh, the inserts uh, should be pretty plain to see. Uh, I don't believe there's parallels per se within these uh, these sets as far as I uh, know. 
Uh, I just don't think so. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, there certainly are no parallels of the base cards. Base cards run, as I said, 1 to 150. There was an update sort of rounding them uh, out to 200. So, for example, Ty Ratty was an update card, and Theo Fleury and Eric Lindros were, believe it or not. There's Pelly Lindbergh. So I believe that would be Pelly Lindbergh on the uh, on the cover there. Well, that's kind of interesting. It's nice that they have Pelly Lindbergh. Pelly Lindbergh, of course, died in a car crash. He was a highly touted prospect, and we do have a jersey card here. So Pelly Lindbergh was one of the better goaltenders in, in the NHL, but he died very young in a car crash uh, before he reached his entire potential. But he was a real standout uh, early in his career in the early 80s. Curtis Hamilton, and this is our first jersey card, and it's Roberto Luongo. That is very nice. That is a very good looking, oh no, it isn't. It's both Luongo and it's Olivier Roy. So this is a duel. Very cool. So it's on the duel checklist. I think it's just a base. You, these usually, oh, so here we go. These have shortened runs. Uh, even if it's, uh, you know, the base silver as opposed to a gold or whatever, uh, you note here that it's a silver version, so it's of 50. It isn't numbered one of 50. They do not number them. Uh, they all would be, say, one of 50. But that is very nice. That's a very nice hit. So only a print run of 50 of those jerseys, and we hit one which was a Luongo. And that's sort of the benefit of these Heroes and Prospect cards. You do get good stuff like that. You have Here we have Louis Domingue, who's on, uh, I believe he's from Quebec, but he's on uh, Tampa Bay right now. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, there's Matt Pumple, David Taves, another one of these. There's Eric Carlson, young-looking Eric Carlson, uh, growing out the hair. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Eric Carlson just because he... See, 11 points and his plus-minus is zero. He, he has always been a defensive liability. Someone who puts up 85 points... 70 points and still ends up at being minus 13. That's just not going to get it done, son. And that's sort of just my own um, feeling about him as a as a goaltender who prefers maybe stay-at-home defensemen or defensemen who do not need Google Maps to get back to their zone. There's Greg McKegg. I believe he was a Leafs prospect, wasn't he? Nino Niederreiter. Everybody say it with me. Nino Niederreiter. Uh, pretty cool. And we do have an insert here, so I believe we have one of these 75th anniversary inserts. And Terry Sawchuk, that's a nice one. That is pretty good. So they're very busy, they're grayed out, uh, these 75th anniversary ones, so they go back all the way, as I said, 1936 was the uh, uh, inaugural year of the AHL, American Hockey League. So that's kind of cool, the Terry Sawchuk. So that would be a full-on insert. And then we have Chet Pickard and Gudobin. So we're definitely getting a couple of the goaltenders. I believe Pickard now is has been playing on the, uh, in the Flyers. And uh, Gudobin just got traded, I think, recently. He was on Boston, of course. Uh, but uh, Boston picked up Halak. Here's Alex Galchenyuk. That's pretty nice. Galchenyuk. Now on Arizona. Now, what is this? Is this an auto missing the auto? That's bizarre. So I'm I'm hoping this isn't one of my autos. So it's just a Calder Cup Champions. Maybe it's a base set of those. Oh, yeah. I believe they do just have base cards. So it's an insert. Uh, and it's a player who won the Calder Cup. Of course, there's a difference between the Calder Cup and the Memorial Cup. The Calder Cup, of course, is the winner of the American Hockey League, the AHL. Pretty interesting, nonetheless. It looks like it should have an auto, but it does not have an auto on it. Uh, but that, they do have a base set of these Memorial um, Champions and Calder Champions, I believe. So this would be one of the Calder Champions. Uh, kind of strange looking card, though, without the uh, without an auto. It looks like it's all primed and ready to go auto forward and didn't quite get there. Continuing on. John Carlson, 
uh, let's, see, let's see that John Carlson. Uh, John Carlson is a beast of a defenseman uh, who can play defense and can really uh, play offensively as well. There's Ryan Ellis. It's a nice one, Ryan Ellis. Speaking of which, uh, oh, another insert in here. So this will be interesting. Let's see what this insert is. There's Bobrovsky. This is actually theoretically Bobrovsky's rookie year because 2010-11 was his rookie card year. So you could potentially consider this base card, which is a common, as a Bobrovsky rookie card. I'll just put it aside. And then we have these. So these would be, uh, I, I guess these would be sort of anniversary cards as well. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're sort of reminiscent of, oh cool, that's Howie Moran's. That's really nice. So these are called the 100 year uh, of collecting. So it would be a 19, 10, 11 looking card. And to hit the Howie Morenz as a Habs fan is really the nicest one to hit. Uh, you could potentially from this base uh, sort of insert set, get a Morris Richard uh, or a Jean Beliveau Tove Blake, but you could also get a Red Kelly and Ted Lindsay and Aurel Joliet and the one and Bill Barilko. And the one I would probably want to get more than anyone would be Howie Morenz or Bill Barilko, to be honest with you. Uh, just my own preferential preference. So these are fun. And there's Nick Palmieri, who's having uh, quite the season thus far in 2018 19. Let's see what else we have here up in it. Oh, there's, I believe there's Nano in it. Let me put it aside for now. Certainly a bunch of interesting inserts, which has been fun in games. Continuing on, there's Roberto Luongo with, uh, look at his career stats on there. And there's a Calvin, Calvin Pickard, another one with Seattle. Austin Watson with the Peterborough Peets, the Peter Patch Peets. And Tyler Bozak. That's pretty nice as well, this Tyler Bozak. Uh, recently traded as well after a pretty decent uh, patch with your Toronto Maple Leafs. And we do have a patch here. Well, let's let's see what this patch is, if we can, if you will. So there's Brayton Holpe with the Hershey Bears, and Ryan McDonough, who the Habs drafted, I believe, in the first round uh, before giving him away for three orange balls. With the Connecticut Whale, now with Tampa Bay. Uh, illustrious career with your oh there's uh, Elkins illustrious, illustrious career with your Rangers and here I have uh, a jersey it's a black jersey it's a game used jersey it's a goaltender and it, oh wow it's Corey Schneider that is really nice Corey Schneider's having some difficult, some injury woes and stuff this year, but that is a good-looking Corey Schneider. So we've gotten two jerseys. One was a, one was a Luongo duel, and then this Corey Schneider. Very nice. I, again, I don't know what the print run is of these. So Game Use Blacks, I can look it up. I know that um, Game Used, uh, let's just see here. Heroes of Game, Use Memorabilia set. I'm not entirely certain. Usually they're a lot less than you would assume. Is that an M11? What is this here? It is an M11. So these are Game Use Memorabilia, uh, 64 cards within the print run of the blacks. So these are the base, the blacks are the base. Uh, the print run would actually be 120. The silvers of this particular, it's a pretty decent patch for a 120. Um, but uh, there are, so you have black, and then you have silvers, which are 30, you have golds, which are 10. Then there are emblem variation blacks. Now I'm wondering if it's that, I don't think so. I think it would tell us if it were that. There certainly are emblem variation blacks and uh, that are 
silver, gold as well. And the emblem variations are numbered to six, if you can imagine that. Still pretty cool. Not going to complain about that. Uh, considering we just happened to get, of the emblem, we happened to get an NHL, or we've got two NHLers, which is kind of rare. It's very easy to get non-NHLers, uh, just because of uh, the fact that there's AHL and OHL and CHL, if you will. There's Yakupov, Galiev, Olivier Archambault, uh, one of these heroes and prospects. There's Chris uh, Terry, Chris Terry's uh, Heroes and Prospects card, and there's Lars Eller. That's pretty cool, the uh, stud in the playoffs last year. He's had a decent career. He's more of a playoff performer. A lot of people sort of, he's a bit of a third center, but uh, his uh, reach and lankiness is very helpful in the playoffs when, on smaller ice. And he actually, I think he got the Stanley Cup winning goal last year. Tobias Ryder, J.P. Anderson. Uh, these are all base, I believe. Taylor Doherty. And Brett Stone, I believe that was. No, Sonny. Okay, uh, four packs left, I believe. Uh, do have an autograph here. I'll put that aside for a couple of minutes. Three packs left, plus two uh, packs with some goodies in them. All right, there's the Nuge. Uh, was not his rookie year. There's Pavel Bure. So this would be right at the low end of the checklist, I believe, card number two. So these kind of cool looking cards are right at the bottom of the checklist. Oh, wow, we have another game used. I didn't know we were, we were going to get three game used. I thought we were supposed to get two. Zach Phillips. Let's see what that is. There's Cody Hodgson. Tyler Innes. Blake Jeffreyon, who's the grandson of Boom Boom. And we have a jumbo jersey black. So this is a large jersey. Look at the size of this thing. You can buy these sets, believe it or not, online if you want to. Here's a prospect, and it's Brock Bookaboom. So this is a bonus one, and we were not, I don't think we we're supposed to get three of them. I think we we're supposed to get two. Um, but nonetheless, kind of cool. Got a, a, an extra one, Brock Bookaboom. That's cool. I'm into it. Masterful, uh, gigantic, ginormous jersey. There's Devontae smith Pelly, also a hero last year's playoffs. Ryan Bork, who I believe is one of the sons of uh, Ray Bork. Adam Larson. All big names. There's Ryan Spooner. And another one of these. And that's that for that. Just a couple packs left. Then I'll look at the autos. Uh, pretty happy with the game used within here. Again, for, you know, $25, uh, a lot of fun, a lot going on. There's Philippe Dano, who was a first-round draft pick by the Hawks, who was traded to the Montreal Canadiens, and who's functioned as a first-line center, very good defensively. Uh, there's Jonathan Huberdeau, top prospect. Derek Pouliot. And Kevin Shatterkirk. And that's basically it for the base, as far as I can tell. So all of that would have been base. Uh, just a couple of packs left uh, with autos. So let's see what we what we get with regard to our autos. Nine cards per pack. There are a lot of cards in here. Very thick packs. Uh, Gabriel Beaupre, Mackenzie. There's there's the stammer probably with Sarnia. That's kind of cool. Of the stammer. Look at his numbers, 141 points in 161 games. I believe he played on the Sting. We have an auto here, so here's blank. There's P.K. Subban, so this would also function as a P.K. Subban rookie card in a sense because it was his rookie year, 2010-11. So same, same, same for Kadri, actually. So these are the two rookies from 2010-11. Not autos, so I, didn't, you know, I don't know if they're... Obviously, they're worth a dollar no more. And then we have the Shane Mc... McColgan. I'm not really sure who this is, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm sure you do, uh, but it's a nice sticker auto. It's pretty cool, pretty clean look. Uh, 
ASM. Shane McColgan. Okay, well, so that's one of our autos. We are guaranteed another auto, so let's see who it is. Boone Jenner. There's Louis LeBlanc, a Habs prospect, believe it or not. Uh, and they probably went to go play in Europe, which is what happens. There's Michael Backlund. Logan Couture. And Logan Couture with the affiliate uh, Sharks, Worcester. And our auto, our last auto, our last hit of the box. Who is this? I have no idea who this is. Oh, it's Brock Bukaboom. Wow, we got two of this guy. That's interesting. Okay. It's funny that we get him twice. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm not, not the best ever, but uh, always fun break. Always, always fun. So let's see what we, so let's do a bit of a recap, guys. Okay, guys, time for the recap. Uh, here we go. So uh, we did get a lot of base, a entire sort of, probably almost the entire base set, uh, which would run 150 cards. You can see we probably maxed out uh, our base, probably got almost all of it, if you can imagine that. Uh, 162 cards within the box, right? So we would theoretically get almost 150 cards, which would be the entire base set, minus a couple. Well, I'll just show you some of the cool-looking uh, old-school legends uh, low on the checklist. You would actually see people like uh, Pavel Bure, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else did we get? Let's see. I, the other thing, too, is what I, I didn't mention. So you did get people like Pele Lindbergh. Uh, I certainly got uh, Nazem Kadri base card and a P.K. Subban base card in 2010-11 would have been the rookie year. So that's somewhat worth note noting. Uh, in terms of our uh, inserts, we definitely got a couple of inserts. Uh, we, for example, well, here's one of Stevie Eiserman, low on the checklist, another legend, uh, a young looking Stevie Y. Uh, we did get this here, which would be a Calder Champions of Pinizzato. So this is just a sort of base insert, if you will. Uh, we, as I mentioned, you can get the Kadri. We also got this Bobrovsky, which is a base card, but uh, it was his rookie year, so you can consider it a very low end. A rookie card, if you will. Uh, on the inserts front, we also got a 75th uh, season card. So these would be uh, AHL started in 1936, so 2011, 10-11 uh, would have been the 70th anniversary of the AHL. And we got this really cool looking Terry Sawchuk gray card. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we also got this inaugural, sort of inaugural, this, this uh, 100 year anniversary card. Uh, insert and we got the Howie Morans, which is really nice. So these sort of look a little bit like the 1910-11 cards, uh, Imperial Tobacco-ish uh, looking cards. So this is pr pretty nice insert to get. To get the Howie Morans is probably one of the best ones you can get, if not the best one. Um, the autos, the autos, the autos, the autos. I actually got two really low-end autos, um, you know, prospects, if you will. So the Shane Mc uh, Colgan uh, auto and now he was a fifth round pick in 2011 and he played mostly with um, the Rockets, Kelowna Rockets and um, Saskatoon he played with and he played with uh, St. Thomas University uh, so that was then he, he went off to Germany to play but he was not uh, you know a NHL or if you will uh, and we also got Brock Bukaboom uh, Brock Bukaboom, same sort of scenario more or less. I mean, he was a third round pick, so 63rd overall, and he played mostly on Prince Ed Edward Island um, and had a couple of decent, you know, playoff runs with them, I guess. But uh, he too was not an NHLer. He was an OHLer, a US sports, an ECHLer, if you will. Uh, but so our auto's a little bit lackluster for a change, but again, for 20 some odd dollars, $22, whatever I paid, it's fine. Uh, and then with regard to our jerseys, we did a bit better. We did get, believe it or not, we got another one of Brock Bukaboom. So it's a Brock Bukaboom box. 
Buka boombox, um, which is different from a uh, boombox, musical boombox. Uh, but this is kind of nice. You can buy these entire sets actually, uh, probably through Steel City Collectibles if you're interested in getting the entire jumbo set. But this is a pretty nice uh, black jumbo patch, uh, not numbered unfortunately. And then uh, in terms of our half decent hits, we actually had a couple of half decent hits. We did hit this black jersey uh, patch and this one is a Heroes and ha uh, Prospects, and this would be his materials from his uh, from his junior days, uh, or AHL days, or wherever this was. And this one would be probably a print run of 120, I believe, for the blacks. Did that. And, and then, then finally, last but not least, I did hit this Heroes and Prospects duel of Olivier Roy and Roberto Luongo, which is a really nice card. Uh, and it is a of 50 card, so one of 50, um, they're, all, they're all numbered one of 50, uh, these cards, they're not um, individual numbered, but pretty cool, it's pretty cool, the Luongo's pretty nice. So that's basically it, another fun, interesting, involved box of the uh, 2010 11 Heroes and Prospects. Uh, you also, of course, get uh, these one point Heroes and Prospects. Uh, he shoots, he scores, um, blanks, if you will. That's basically it. I have to be Fulton Cards. Please leave me a like or and or leave me uh, or subscribe to my, my, um, my channel. Fulton Cards, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. <laughs>